Harry Cloak, I am 21 years old and I am a student slash bartender. I am taking part in a charity event for Cancer Research UK and it is an eight week training program uh, where I learn eight weeks worth of MMA and at the end I have an amateur fight, all for charity. I've been a big fan of MMA for quite a few years now and I saw this on being advertised on Facebook. I just thought I'd dip my toes, see if I was any good at it. It's all for charity at the end of the day, but I, I really enjoy watching MMA, so I thought I'd try it. Training's hard. Training's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Painful. Shut up. When I first started it, I thought, you know, it's just going to be kind of, I'll be all right at it. It'll be, it won't be too hard. Like I said, it's all for charity, so I don't think, never thought they'd actually push us really, really far. But I mean, just last week I was doing 200 setups, just for like, just because that was our warm up. Uh, physically, I'm doing training three times a week: uh, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Uh, Wednesdays and Fridays, we're learning jujitsu, uh, which is really handy. I would never have thought that it would actually be as practical as it is, if that makes sense. But it's, it's really kind of convoluted when you first learn it. Like there's a lot of like rolling around and you just look a bit naff. But when you actually start learning it properly, it does make a lot more sense. And on Sundays we do sparring, which is basically kicking and punching and basically having a fight, but not actually having a fight. It's lots of fun. I've got two weeks left and to the day. What have you been doing today? We've been getting punched in the face and fried up. No, we were doing sparring, but I've got a f***ing Superman punch, I'm still trying to get over it. <laughs> yeah, it's getting over home. Oh, he just did, oh, so the, so the guy just stood in on my throw up. <laughs> oh, mate, I've, my, my chin's killing me, honestly. That's so f***ing painful. Yeah, like, it's it's really friendly. Like, all the guys that you train with are all quite normal, quite nice guys. Uh, there is a few girls in there. And when you when you wrestle a girl, it's 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 an odd it's an odd experience because like the girl that I, I had to do it once, and she was a lot smaller than I was. But I also thought to myself that I'll look like a bit of a d if I just kind of throw her around. But at the same time, I also thought to myself I'll also like, look like a bit of a d if this girl just completely dominates me. I'm going for jogs every other morning, which is lots of fun, especially considering it's December. Absolutely freezing outside. I think it's about four degrees when I go, or maybe even a little bit lower. But it's near enough hitting uh, like freezing. Who do you think you're fighting? Can't, can't talk to not. I don't know. There are other people. A lot of people I haven't turned up in a while. We have to see who turns up on Tuesday. Who do I pair us against? I don't know. I don't really want to fight to be honest, but I'll get my best shot. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't get who I, was doing, who I thought I would though, so I thought I was going to get um, that Ollie guy because he weighed in, he weighed in two, three kilos above me, so I was like, I'd probably get him. But I don't, I didn't think that Elliot kid, because he's quite skinny, and quite tall. I didn't think he'd weigh in at about mine. I think he was like a kilo lighter. Didn't get to see. Didn't, he didn't, didn't show up because he's too scared. <laughs> No, I know who he is. He's been in training a few times. So I sparred against him every now and again. Uh, he's all right, but I know I know what he's good at. 
I know he's not good at it, so I'm going to have to reach, I'm gonna have to change my game plan around, I think, now, because he's good at cardio and stand-up, and I was hoping that I'd be able to kind of tie Sian out and out, like, outpace him, but I don't think that's going to happen. It's not long, is it? Five, day, five days? Five days left. One more training session. What if I got injured now? Oh my god, I would be so pissed. Go take up smoking again. <laughs> Stress. I'm Harry's flatmate, and I think that he'll win in the second, maybe. Knockout all points, I'm not too sure. Yeah, definitely. I'm Freya, I'm Harry's mate. Um, I think he's going to do alright. I know he's been training really hard for it. Um, I'm quite nervous though, because I've seen some videos of the lad he's fighting, and yeah, he seems to be quite good at it as well. But I, I reckon he'll do okay. I hope so. had the fight, it lasted all three rounds. Sadly, I got a technical knockout in the third. It was great, I, I really enjoyed it, I was, but I just ran out of gas in the end. I just couldn't keep going. I tried my hardest. I think in the second round, I managed to land, I think I managed to land one or two really hard hits on him. In the first, I managed to land a few as well, but he definitely landed more, and that's when I realised that taking him to the ground was probably my best option. I'd consider doing it again, but I would like to keep up kind of training in this kind of thing and I'd also like to keep up maybe sparring, maybe not so much this because this, this is a lot of work. I, mean, I didn't think it was going to be, I thought it was going to be a lot like sparring but more manageable but as I came into a ring or the octagon my heart was just pounding out of my chest. I could actually feel it in my throat, like I could just feel it just going off. Hey, you've done well mate, I'm proud of you, I'm really proud of you. Getting in that ring. I'm proud of you too. <laughs> hey mate. Yeah, yeah. Happy Emmers! <laughs> I'm gonna go I'll get all my stuff and go get pissed. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> 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 <laughs>